welcome to Berlin. I'm Yunus Paksoy. Right-wing extremism has been dominating the news agenda again here. There are also a growing number of people being arrested for child pornography and it's a problem that German authorities are struggling to control. And COVID-19 outbreaks in slaughterhouses are still an issue. So take a look at the five stories from Germany this week that you should know about. Body searches on people purely because of their skin color are unlawful in Germany. But there are fears that racial profiling is a problem within the German police. An investigation into the matter was announced, but it was swiftly cancelled by the German Interior Minister this week. It's caused outrage among many who believe the police force needs an overhaul. But the Interior Minister says the investigation doesn't make sense and that racial profiling is already banned and doesn't happen. Wenn wir sagen, dass es in Deutschland kein Racial Profiling gibt, dann meinen wir damit, dass äh, es in keiner strukturellen Weise der Polizei erlaubt ist oder anempfohlen wird, auf der Basis von rassistischen Motiven zu fahnden oder zu kontrollieren. Es ist kein zulässiger polizeilicher, äh, keine zulässige polizeiliche Methode und kein Ansatz. Chilling child sex abuse cases are still making headlines in Germany. A particularly harrowing case has come to light, in which a convicted pedophile paid a surrogate to her baby and then went on to abuse the infant. Questions are being asked over how authorities failed so badly and allowed this to happen, and there is huge criticism over the lenient sentence. The defendant was given just five years after the judge decided there was no proof that he had fathered the child for the purpose of abuse. Despite receiving widespread praise for an effective response to COVID-19, the virus is far from over in Germany. Slaughterhouses are again home to huge outbreaks. So much so that one of them in Gütersloh has led to a region-wide lockdown after more than 1,500 new cases. Some blame the outbreak on terrible working and accommodation conditions at the factory. It's the color fitness and force. It's not about the two hours of fitness, it's about the 12 hours of work. Forecasts on how much of an impact COVID-19 will have are getting worse. The EU Commission projects that the German economy will shrink by 6.3% this year. And it doesn't look great for the labour market either, with experts warning that the German unemployment rate hasn't yet peaked. The Anzahl der Erwerbstätigen wird spürbar zurückgehen, wie der Arbeitslosen steigen. Dabei dürfte der Hochpunkt bei der Arbeitslosigkeit im Sommer bei etwa 3 Millionen Arbeitslosen erreicht sein. And finally, Berlin has a world-renowned nightlife, but since March, Nights have been quiet here after venues had to shut due to COVID-19. The lockdown measures are taking a heavy toll and venue owners are worried that once vibrant party scene is now lost for good. Wir sitzen auf den Kosten, weil wir ja die Orte haben, die wir halten müssen. Also wir müssen Miete, Versicherung, alles Mögliche bezahlen und haben überhaupt gar keine Möglichkeit im Augenblick Geld zu verdienen. Like most countries in Europe, Germany continues to try and recover from a pandemic that is far from over. And as the weeks go on, the far-reaching effects COVID-19 has had will become more evident.